Well, we fabricated it out of steel and a little bit of plywood, and then it's covered in holographic latex printed spandex. Wow. So Where it's a you... disco dick. And the white scarves hanging, was that your idea too? Yes. Or did someone had that? No, this, these are the jizz kites. Jizz kites. <laughs> <laughs> So how many people have been up here, would you say? Thousands. Is that your art piece? Your, uh, not the dick, but myself and the megaphone on top of the dick was just a little frosting I put on the cake. Because, I mean, this dick looks so lost without me. This whole thing breaks down and can fit in our pickup truck. Wow. So this, this 22 whole thing? feet. Yeah. The fabric all fits inside of a big duffel bag. And all the steel is curved and lays flat. Yeah, my mm -hmm. husband used to design furniture, so he knows how to make stuff knock down. In 2012, it was our first year to make a big art piece. You know, it was really new for us. We did fundraising, worked with the artery, great learning experience. And that piece was called the Divine Feminine. And it was a 20 foot tall golden ruffle skirt. And it was inspired by the Minoan goddess, this wonderful bare breasted goddess that waves snakes around. and. So we fashioned this beautiful skirt and it was all about goddess archetypes. You know, Burning Man is that kind of a place, right? The random ridiculous things that come out of a campfire drunken storytelling could be the thing that you build next year. And so it's a way of having the cock be more of a spiritual thing. Like for women, I think tend to, you know, automatically think of female energy or yoni energy as being you know, as spiritual and, you know, with the cock, it's more like, yeah, morning wood, you know, it's more of a jokey thing. And so I think just by calling it divine masculine, it also helped ground the piece and remind everyone that this is a beautiful object. It's a, you know, it's a beautiful instrument of love and life and birth and, you know, passing of waste and all those important things in the body and soul. And so that's it. This is the last day you will ever see it. We're taking it down right after this interview and we will never put it up again. We're going to recycle the fabric and use the steel and work on a next big project.